Hi. It is Saturday, February 12th, about 5 o'clock. Um, first off, no, I did not have top surgery. I know you're all thinking that, but no, I did not. Um, binder's wet, because I just washed it, and it's Saturday. I don't feel like binding. So, I'm half naked. Who cares, right? Um, and besides, from about right there up, I feel pretty good about myself, so leave it at that. Um, anyways, this week has been a very good week, trans-wise. Um, first off, you know, haircut always makes you feel good. Um, dad wasn't so thrilled about it, but who cares? Um, I got a new, <coughs> new school ID, sorry, I'm talking on popcorn. <coughs> got a new school ID, because I still had the picture from my freshman year, when I had long hair, which I haven't had since my freshman year anyways. So I went and got a new school ID, and that was nice. Um, other things, good trans week. Well, there was a lot this week, but I feel like I grew up a lot this week. Um, last night I was driving, and I totally, totally just had the weirdest realization. Um, for the longest time, oh, I gotta be careful doing that. Um, for the longest time, I've kind of thought of the things I do as very important, um, you know, like community service-wise and that such, but I never thought of myself as important, and I realized that last night. It seems simple, but I finally realized it. I was like, dang, I never thought of myself as important, just the things that I do, so, you know, that was kind of a big epiphany, a light bulb going on, um, so I'm kind of happy I realized that, because now I'm kind of Okay, in a way, it feels like I'm being a little bit more selfish and thinking of myself more, but I'm kind of thinking about, you know, my personal happiness a little more, which I think is okay. Um, and I'm becoming more and more comfortable with myself. So that is very, very nice. Um, last couple weeks, I felt really, like, stuck. Not really, well, I'm not really transition. Well, in transition, yeah. I felt really stuck because it's like, you know... Do I want to do I want to move forward or am I stuck in the past and that kind of stuff and I feel like I've stepped out of the past a little bit and I'm moving more forward which also sucks because like when I go home um, to like my hometown or even last night I went to you know some the high school basketball games so I knew a lot of the people and it's just like you know it's hard to be a different you when they expect something totally different of you so I've kind of started realizing that there's no going back, and um, I'm going to have to figure out how to move forward, which is scary, but very exciting. Um, other things this week. I've done a lot more shopping, which is fun. Old Navy is amazing, because I can get a shirt for $5 on clearance. So, uh, I've gotten some new clothes. And oh, also, of course, I went to the Self-Worth Project presentation in Reading. It was amazing. If any of you guys have not checked out the Self-Worth Project on Facebook, you have to. It's just called The Self-Worth Project. So check it out. Um, I went over there for the presentation and of course it was just amazing. They had the six speakers and it was great. And I got to meet Aiden and his partner Christia and that was awesome. Um, hi guys. Uh, it was really nice to meet them, and they made me feel very, very special. And that night was also very important to me, because that was the first time I went stealth. And I don't know how I did, but I think I did okay. I didn't get sheet or heard. Um, and I felt very good about myself. You know, very, I don't know, confident until I had to pee, but I just held it. Uh, but I felt very good and very confident and um, accepted, which... I thought I'd be a little more ostracized, but I felt very accepted, and it was, I don't know, it was a great feeling. So, I was, I was super, super excited about that. Um, yes, it was a long drive for a three-hour presentation, but it was absolutely worth it. And, um, yeah, I was just amazed at how good it felt, which also, you know, makes me realize I can't go back. Anyways, um, so, from here... What else? I don't know. I've grown up a lot. Sorry, I have an itch. Um, things with my mom. 
are good. They're okay. I don't know. She just kind of is avoiding the whole thing. Which, I don't know. She'll have to face it eventually. But I know she's been doing some research and she's been reading. And so, you know, she's talked to me a little bit. But it almost kind of feels like she's in denial. Which I, <laughs> I can't blame her. Um... Sorry, I need to stop scratching. But she's totally in denial. And, um, you know, is just kind of fighting it. Like, she'll ask me questions and stuff. But, you know, she's still doing the the girls and the honeys and the... I don't know. She'll come around. Um, still haven't told Dad. But, I don't know. I feel more like I'm ready. Like, I was totally stressing about it the past couple weeks, but now I'm kind of like, all right, I just need to do it, and I want to do it. It's like ripped me off a band-aid. It's like I can't move forward, keep moving forward, which I want to, until I tell him. So, gotta do that. Uh, it's scary. If any of you guys have advice, like things you wish you would have done differently, um, things you did wrong, stuff like that, I'd really appreciate it because I'm like unsure of how to go about it. Obviously, there's no right time. But, anyways, um, other than that, not too much going on. Um, next week, I'm meet meeting with one of our professors on campus who's um, actually within my department, the Community Health Science. Um, she does a lot of suicide prevention work, and um, especially in sexual minorities, which is really cool. Um, so I'm meeting with her. I, you know, I emailed her and I was like, hey, you know, I'm, I'm I'm newly out and I'm looking for resources. So she emailed me back very nice and was like, yeah, come meet me. So I will. And I'll actually see if I can get on any of her projects doing some outreach and suicide prevention. That would be awesome. Um, I think it's, I think it's time that I can do that. Uh, you know, it's been five years since I had a suicide attempt and I've always been very embarrassed about it and, you know, ashamed, but I've kind of mm, come to terms with it. So I think I can do some good. So I'm hoping to be able to do that. Um, so yeah, that's my life right now. Um, other than that, oh uh, yeah, and then next week again, um, I am helping work a, uh, what is it called? Cultural Considerations in Healthcare. We're doing like, there are a bunch of events. And two of the events, one is Safe Zone Training, and then the other is um, a showing of um, Southern Comfort, which I, Southern Comfort, which I haven't seen. So I'm excited about that. Um, and then next weekend, I'm kind of nervous because I have to go down for like a family reunion in San Diego. It's one of great aunts or something's 90th birthday. And I'm really nervous about that because I, I have to fall back, you know, into the I feel like I have to. I have to fall back into the expectations, the binary. But I don't think I will. I think I'll just go as me for now. And, you know, if questions come up, then questions come up. But it's like, you're going to find out eventually, so you might as well find out now. Um, it could make for a very awkward weekend, but it's only four days. I think I can do it. Uh, so yeah, those are, those are coming up and those are big steps. And then I'm also going to try and make it to Aiden's talk in Chico, the demystifying the teen LGBT, which is very exciting. So anyways, uh, that is my life. Aside from just being, you know, brain fucked by school, <laughs> uh, which is fine. You know, I'm paying for the brain fucking, so it's good. And... That's it. So I hope everyone is doing well, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.